Hey, uh, thanks for tuning in to my Texas Star 500V upgrades. Um, so my meter light was kind of uh, dying, so I decided to go with a dual blue LEDs. And uh, it illuminates and it looks nice. Um, it's consistent. Uh, next, I upgraded the, uh, the power wires. And as you can see, I went with uh, the negatives and the po positive. I went with dual power wire upgrade, uh, bypass all the fuses. Uh, some people may or may not like that, but uh, this is used as a, uh, a base station. So um, I'm kind of protected with the power supply. I'm, obviously, when you don't have fuses, you may run into something uh, that could be bad. But for the most part, if it was in a mobile, definitely would have a fuse on it. But trying to get the most power out of it. So anyways, uh, with the power wire upgrade, I put some ferrites on all four of the ends. And I did heat shrink to make it a little, a little cleaner. Um, one of the other things that I did do is, so when I put these grommets in, um, this is 8-gauge wire. I went with the 8-gauge grommet. And I couldn't get four of them in there. So actually, I'm running with uh, two of the 10 gauge, which actually worked just fine. Um, if I would have known that originally, I would have just did them all the same way, 10 gauge. But um, the 8 gauge wire does fit inside the 10 gauge grommet. One of the other things you might notice is I've heat shrunk the ends. I did that on purpose. When you tighten down uh, the nuts on these, uh, like the retainers or whatever, I don't like how it digs into the wire. And so the heat shrink actually protects the wire so you can still tighten them down and the wires won't move around. Um, as you can see, I do have Toshiba's in this. I've been cleaning up the flux, you know, that's from the original build. Uh, it's looking a little bit cleaner in there. But over time, that flux will get, like, yellow-looking, and it just, you know, it's pretty clean in there right now, but I'm still going to do some more. Uh, the last thing I did was I wired in a switch for my fan, or a plug, whatever you want to call it. So basically, just a normal uh, mono plug, uh, 3.5 millimeter, and I just hit the ground on the board there or the, uh, hit the power, the hot on the board. Um, the ground is actually, comes through the frame of the uh, Texas Star and the, uh, where it meets right there, it just pulls the ground. So I didn't have to wire up uh, two wires, just had to hit the positive, and um, if that makes sense. Anyways, I'm using one of these uh, fan kits, and so, yeah, you know, I just wired one of these on. But you want to make sure that you're using a mono, not a stereo, and you want to make sure that you know what the positive and negative are. Um, don't just wire something up and think it's going to work. Um, you definitely want to make sure that you got the wires in the right spot. Other than that, though... Um, I love the Texas Stars. They're just nice to uh, to use. They're easy to use. They're reliable. And um, they're just clean. So anyways, don't want to make this a long video, but just wanted to show a couple things. The blue LED, the wire upgrade, uh, the fan kit, stuff like that. Um, and I know people love to see the Toshiba pills. Twenty eight seventy nine. Let's see. And it's not. Yeah, it's kind of coming in a little blurry. Yeah, sorry about that. The last thing I did was uh, wiring up the end of the uh, the positive and negative wires. So um, this was the last part I did. I used. Uh, six gauge uh, 
three eighths inch uh, rings and um, the eight gauge wire fit right inside nicely and a uh, little heat shrink. And that pretty much completed uh, the wire upgrade. So stay tuned for uh, power wattage update. I was getting like 575 watts uh, before the wire upgrade. And we'll see what it does uh, shortly. Okay, so now we got it all hooked up. Running on the Striker 955. We're doing two watts, swinging 80. Now, before I did the wire upgrade, we were getting about 575 on the dozy. So, our right meter here, we're in the 1000 watt scale. And here we go, 1000 watt scale. Now let's see how much more we get. So we were doing 575 before the wire upgrade. And now let's see. Audio, one, two, one, two, one, two. 700, 700. Can you believe that? So yes, it is definitely worth upgrading the power wires. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.